In today's tutorial, let's do the full cable cowl. There's a lot more going on in this cowl than it looks like. Look carefully, we're gonna do it next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the full cable cowl. There's a little more going on in this pattern than it looks like. What is going on right there? Mm -hmm. I actually never even seen that when I was looking at cowls. And then I was thinking, huh, is it folded? What is going on there? And it is a full cable. So what I was noticing here, where have we seen this before? This is in the chain links pillow where it's like a Jacob's ladder kind of concept. So this cowl is gonna work up really quick because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use mega bulky yarn using a size S. 19 millimeter crochet hook and one of those today and we're going to get this done. So what materials will you need? You can either choose two balls of the Bernat Mega Bulky just like so or you need three balls of the Bernat Mega Bulky Sparkle. It's a smaller size ball. So three balls of this if you want to do sparkle, two balls of the Bernat Mega Bulky just like this. I think this is going to be a great project. Let's get going on it next. So I've taken the ball band off and I had to reach in the inside and I got a little bit more than I wanted. But the easiest way to use this yarn is to pull from the inside. It's not hard to pull that out and it's quite easy. It's better than doing the outside because you can keep tension control a lot better when it just comes easily from the inside of the ball. Let's grab our size S 19 millimeter crochet hook and let's get started. So let's begin. We're going to create a slip knot. So just pretend this yarn is regular size yarn because it's a lot more bigger than normal. And what we want to do is just put it onto the hook. Okay. So now we have to chain 19. So let's do that. So we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And go all the way to 19 for me and meet me back here in just a moment. So now I'm done and I have my 19. So you're thinking, wow, that's gonna be a big cow. It's actually gonna compress. So you just gotta trust in it because we're gonna be doing that Jacob's Ladder kind of concept. So second chain from the hook. So it's a big hook. Second chain, so one and two. Turn it over and get the back loop only of that chain and insert your hook in and I want you to single crochet. So just pull through and pull through. So there's one. I need you to just uh, single crochet the next three back loops only. Now that you've done one you see that it's turned over and it's a lot easier to access. So that was one. Once you get more yarn onto your hands it's easier to hold everything obviously. So this is two and this is three. So this is gonna be part of the Focal era uh, cable area. So in the next 10 I want you to slip stitch. So going into the next chain slip stitch. So yarn over pull through and through. So let's count those out together. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So that was 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5. Make sure you get all the plies in there big yarn. Okay, I just want to verify that. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, and we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so you only have four stitches left or four chains left now on your work. So the final four, see you've got one, two, three and four. The final four is one single crochet each. So you'll, so you'll notice that the single crochets are a bit taller than the slip stitches. That's normal for those that are new in crochet. And we're gonna be using that uh, slip stitching area to create the full cable look. Okay, so you're gonna single crochet right to the end. And you're gonna turn your work and begin row number two. So this is what it looks like. So you got like a thicker edge on the outside, more thinner here and thicker once again. Let's turn our work and let's go for row number two. So rows number two and three are the repeat pattern for this entire project and it's just really easy. So let's uh, begin row number two. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet into the same one right underneath it. And we're gonna single crochet that one plus three more on the edge. Okay, so move to the next one. So this will be one and two and three. So now in order to keep that full cowl look 
at this on rows number two whenever we're on it we have to chain ten at this point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then all you have to do is that you have to jump over the uh, 10 single crochets but what I would do look for the end or end one here and count back to the four and you can see it you can actually physically see it with this size of stitch. So you see this is a slip stitch this is a single crochet single single single. So you're going to single crochet in the final four single crochets. So this is going to create a ladder look on the project right now and you have to trust in it because it's that ladder area that is going to create that full cable. So just make sure you go right into the last one and then that was row number two. Just like there. Okay. Isn't that easy? So let's turn our work and go for row number three. Just turning our work and going for row number three. So row number three is going to be repeat pattern. So it's rows two and three. So the first four, what do you guess it's going to be? Single crochet. So we chain up one and the first four are four single crochets. So that's never going to change on this particular project. So the outside will always be four single crochets. Okay, so now what's going to happen? So we have ten chains in a row. Okay, so what we have to do is that we have to slip stitch into the chain. So just grab one strand only and uh, just whatever one is easier for you to grab. So one and just count them out and just slip stitch across it. So this is two grab the next one, three, grab the next one, this is four, grab the next one, it's five, grab the next one, six, grab the next one, seven, grab the next one, eight, okay and grab the next one, this is nine and grab the next one. For 10. Okay, so now you're going to then the final four are going to be single crochets each. So just one, two, three, and four. That's it. Okay, so that is how you do this uh, particular pattern and you're just going to keep on going until you get to 27 inches in this direction. So let's just repeat what we know. We turn our work and go back to row number two. Row number two we chain up one, single crochet in the first four. So one, this is two, three, and four. Then we chain ten. Okay, so let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we jump over to the final four. So just count back, it's just easier. So one, two, three, and four, and just single crochet the final four. So one, two, three and four. That's all you have to do. So that was row two, turn your work. So we go back to row number three, the chain up one, the first four are single crochets. So one, two, three and four. And now the next ten chains just grab, start grabbing one and just follow it down. So we just slip stitch through the chain. So one, two, three, four, this is five, six, this is seven, this is eight, nine, and the last one is ten. 
there's your 10 and then the final four are just single crochets. So please repeat rows two and three all over again until you get to 27 inches in the length and then when we come back then I'll show you how to make the full cable and I think that's the funnest part of it all and it's only gonna take a few moments to do it which is kind of a disappointment. So these things are gonna work out and just kind of work within each other to create the full cable. So I'll meet you back here when we get 27 inches done. So here we go and I'm gonna put on screen how long it actually took me to do this. I did it live on camera I just sped it up. So this is where I finished here and I'm gonna turn it so that I go back to the very beginning to where I was to where it started right here. I'm not gonna worry about these ends yet. I'm gonna just look at it here and you can see that there is spaces in between where you did the work. So this is where on the cowl this is so much fun. It only lasts a few moments. It's like a really quick happy ending um, but it's really kind of cool. So you'd almost wanna do it twice just because it's, you can. So what you wanna do is that you just wanna grab the first one here and I'll take my time and you just wanna twist it like this okay. So it doesn't matter if you twist the other way. You just have to twist it. Okay, so you can't just go up like this. You have to do a twist. You're going to take the next one that is in, in line for you and you're going to feed it through that loop. The first one is the only one that you need to twist. Okay, so you're just gonna feed it through. Okay, and you're going to notice the project is gonna start sucking in. So then you're gonna take the next one and feed it through that new loop just like that. This is your faux cable. You're gonna take the next one and go through. Okay, so I'll do the rest. Okay, so now I'm getting close to the end and in the end here I'm just gonna do the final ones including the very last one. Okay. So what are we gonna do from this point here? So this is what it looks like. So it's gotten a lot skinnier than it was. So here is your full cable and on the other side it's completely flat. So what we have to do is then secure this side to the other side with a permanent roll. So what Okay so now that the braid is in I'm just gonna fold my work so that it is the outside, sorry the inside is out just like this. And when I go to sew it I wanna make sure that this yarn stays on the inside that we're about to attach it to. Use a color that's pretty close to it uh, if not exact. Um, I don't have a darning needle to get that mega bulky through. So I'm just using a stronger yarn that is smaller and I'm going to use it. The other thing you could do too if you really wanted to which I probably would recommend um, you could do a sewing needle and you could whip stitch it or what I literally would recommend is just with a regular size like a maybe an L or an eight millimeter. You could also use the same hook that you were doing. Is just grab some yarn from the actual yarn ball because you have some left. Create a slip knot and what I would probably do if I were me, I'm actually gonna use the big one. I'm gonna use the big one right here. Go through the first one here and the other one. Attach it like this and what I would do for me is that I would slip stitch this thing across. So just coming across, just matching the stitches across from each other. 
you could uh, uh, single crochet it shut if you wanted to too. But here's the secret. The secret is is that loop that we had in the very beginning. I'm just gonna single crochet it. Uh, the, the loop is right here. Okay, so we need to secure that loop in. So when we get to the middle section, the, so this is one, two, three. So I got, here's the fourth one. So the fourth if you remember there was four on the outside. Just match it across from each other. Okay, so what I would do then at this point, this is the middle here. You can kind of see that it's twisting. So what I would do is just come right into the middle of it and then just go around the loop that is on the other side and just go right through it. And secure that into position. That's the only way that loop is never gonna fall out on you. And then just continue on down the line of matching the stitches across from each other. So remember that this is the underside of the cowl that you're looking at so you'll never see this line anyway on the other side. Okay and come right to the edge. And then what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna pull a loop. Don't fasten off yet. Just check it. Make sure that you secured it. Let's turn it inside out or inside or sorry outside right. Like and just check your work along here. Okay, so there is your full cable. This is where it's attached around. Okay, so basically that would be near the back and it looks good. I'm actually really quite happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm just gonna finish this off. So I'm just gonna trim my yarn and what I have to do then using another size crochet hook, I'm just gonna have to make sure that I hide in these loose ends and how I would do that I'm gonna use my eight millimeter now is that I'm just going to kind of make sure it ties into knots on the other side. This is really thick yarn so it will fall out on you eventually if you just weave it in. So you just wanna make sure that when you're weaving in and out that you can get it into spaces that and put some knots in so that it doesn't ever fall out on you. You don't wanna compromise the elasticity of the yarn so you gotta make sure that you give it a little bit of flexibility at the same time. There we go. And what I would do then is just go on the underside here, just feed it through some strands that are not on the front side. Feed it in the strands and just kind of tie it into position right there. So then that would be good to go. And then do the same with all the rest of the yarn that you have. So that's how I would finish that off if it were me. Um, I don't have a sewing needle that's that thick. So just hide in all your loose ends and we'll just check back in just a moment. So that's it for today. Here is my full cable. Just like so everything has been secured in. I'm really quite happy with it. It's a really nice thick and bulky. It's definitely going to keep you warm this winter and I just think it has a really unique uh, look to it. I thought it was really cool. I totally missed it when I was looking through the patterns on yarnspirations.com and uh, I would have been sorry if I would have missed this one. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. Have a super day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.